now available in paperback and e-readers, The Temptation of John Haynes. Give in to temptation and pick up this action-packed African-American paranormal romance. Get The Temptation of John Haynes in paperback and e-readers today. Some of my viewers have asked me how I can write so many books over the course of a calendar year. Now, the reason why I can write so many books over a calendar year is because of my aspirations to become a comic book writer when I was a teenager. Now, a long time ago in a ghetto far, far away in the South Bronx, I aspired to become a comic book writer. And I aspired to become a comic book writer way back when I was very young and I saw the books in my brother's comic book collection and I wanted to make my own comics but I couldn't draw very well so I started making pictures using words and as I entered my teen years I wanted to learn more about comics so I started studying everything as related to Marvel, DC and Independence reading a lot of comics and as I got into my 20s in the 2000s, I learned that a comic book writer had to go out here and be able to produce on a regular and consistent basis after I read an article on Wizard Magazine online. Now, after I read that article on Wizard Magazine online, I learned that a comic book writer had to go out here and be able to produce work consistently each month as related to the comics that they were publishing. So a comic book writer had to go out here and they had to continue producing work every month as related to keeping the books going as related to building the audience. So a writer had to really have their skills on point as related to writing. Now as I was out here learning about the craft of comics, I looked to apply that same model to my writing after I lost my job at City College in 2008. Now, in 2008, before I lost my job, God told me to keep going, and I, he was telling me to keep going as related to my craft of writing because he knew I was going to lose my job. and. In order to keep going, I just kept looking to improve my craft as a writer. And when I started SJS Direct in 2009, I started with writing just one book. And as I published All About Marilyn in 2009, I was looking to go out here and looking to create a process for being able to publish books. And with books taking huge losses, I wanted to find a way that would be able me to be able to make money until I could find my next full-time job. So I started working out a plan to start publishing more than one book after I published The Temptation of John Haynes in 2011 because I was having a hard time finding another full-time job and I needed to find a way to go out here and find revenue streams to make money with my unemployment running out. So I started looking to work on trying to find new revenue streams as related to publishing. And that's when I decided to, in 2011, start publishing more than one book. Because while I was starting SJS Direct in 2009, I thought I would be able to get another job. And I thought I'd be able to go out here and be able to finance my publishing projects while I work full time. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find that job. So this is the main reason why I go out here and publish a lot of books. Because in the publishing world, 90% of books fail. And with 90% of books failing, I have to go out here and go out here and publish more than one book because it's the sales from the books that do well that cover the cost of books that sell slowly and it's those books that do well that enable me to be able to be able to take care of myself that is the main reason why I go out here and publish so many books in a calendar year so I started out in around 20 at 2012 I started doing publishing more than one book and I started to go outside of fiction because 
in 2012, that's when I started to go out here and started to go and not only just do books like the first two ISIS series books, I also did the first Stop Simpin book. And after I did the first Stop Simpin book, which was my first nonfiction, which I was encouraged to do by a best selling author friend who saw many of my blogs, I started to say, okay, I hear guys like Mad Voodoo Man talking about simps, and I wanted to go out here and create a book that would help a lot of guys understand what the simp paradigm was. And I started out going out here with the Stop Simping book. And again, looking to do more than one book because books, when you publish them, some will go out here and get good sales and others will go out here and sadly wind up not gaining any sort of audience. So the reason why I go out here and publish so many books in a calendar year really has to do with economics. That's the reason why I publish so many books in a year, because you'll have maybe one book that will go out here and do very well, and that book will go out here and generate sales, and sometimes you'll have a book that you'll go out here and believe will do well, but it won't do well at all, and still you have bills coming in, so you still gotta go out here and find a way to go out here and find a way to make money. And that's the other reason why, again, I publish so many books. Now, I learned this whole process of writing as related to being able to produce very quickly because, again, I took approaches from comic books and screenwriting where you have to go out here and produce content very quickly because in comic books, you have to go out here and produce books basically every month and while you may produce a story arc over three months, the entire story arc has to be put together almost a year in advance. So a writer has to go out here and be able to produce concepts very quickly and take them from concept to script very quickly because your the, the comic cannot start with the artist until the writer is finished with the script and everything starts with the script as related to comics and screenwriting. So I took a process that I learned from reading that Wizard article and books that my family member gave me like Sid Field's screenplay and the book that my best-selling author friend told me about Robert McKee's story. I took a lot of those processes as related to writing and created my own technique for storytelling as related to the novel. And that model is all about, again, being able to tell a story with the fewest amount of words and being able to create what I call a movie in your mind. It's all about going out here and trying to tell a story in the fewest amount of words and being able to do this in a very rapid fashion because the marketplace is one where you need to get product out there very quickly. So with comics and media, you have to get the products out there very quickly. So there's no time to go out here and just wait to see where things go. So the SJS Direct um, process is, again, about creating quality stories in a rapid fashion because the whole point of doing serialized storytelling is that you want to keep the readers continuing to buy the product so that's why I work very quickly. And again, this all goes back to an issue I had with employers back in 2009. A lot of employers would ask me what I was doing, and I wanted to say that I had something I was doing, even though I was out of work, because I would run into interviewers who would go out here and ask questions like, oh, what are you doing, even though I don't have a job? And I wanted to be able to say that if I was out of work for an extended period of time, this is what I was working on. And you could go over to Amazon and see finished results of actual product. You could see finished results of actual material that is in front of you and that you could see a line of consistent work that was done. You could see a consistent line of product that was continuously being produced and there would be no 
sort of excuse to say that this person has a gap on their resume because you could go over to Amazon and see all of the results as related to the books that I have been publishing. Moreover, you could also go over to YouTube and my Sean James channel could go over to my other social media like my Instagram or my blog, Sean James Black Freelance Writer or my TikTok and see consistent results and you could see consistent results as related to publications being produced from 2009 to today and you could see a consistent line of products that show that I have been working regularly on books and showing my passion for the craft because now that I'm out here and I've published over 80 books there is no real excuse to talk about commitment because I hear a lot of employers love to use that statement they love to say oh that person isn't committed well if somebody has been publishing books for over 10 years and has managed to go out here and produce over 80 titles in multiple genres like black fantasy romance and nonfiction and even contemporary fiction and young adult fiction that shows a complete pattern as related to consistency as related to hard work it shows a consistency as related to passion it shows an improvement as related to craft and it shows that a that I'm out here again putting in work moreover it also shows that I have built up things as related to SJS direct because we see an, an improvement in covers since 2014 we see a consistent improve, net improvement as related to quality of product because again I'm hiring comic artists to do covers and we also see a consistency as related to improving product because last year I launched the first SJS direct full comic book and I would love to go out here and further expand on things as related to creating another comic book I really want to go out here and create another comic and be able to again show how I've improved in my skills because over the last I'd say about 25 years I have gone from a guy who went out here just writing trying to write a book to writing eight novels writing over 40 serialized books in the Isis Esteem and John Haynes series and I've also expanded into screenwriting and also gone out here and expanded into comic book writing and I've gone out here and again develop my craft and I do that because one this is the way I make a living as related to one revenue stream and two this is something to again to show how I've improved as related to my skills and to show that I can go out here and put in consistent work I mean the reason why I again do this is because one the most high told me to keep going and two i do also do it because this is how i make a living and with books basically again sometimes having slow sales i gotta have more than one book out there and i also have to have more than one book out there in order to show people my skills as related to my craft because what really shows a writer's skills is that they can write in more than one genre because there are writers out there they can only write one kind of story like a Tyler Perry or a Terry McMillan they can write one kind of story but what I wanted to show was that I had a range as related to my craft I wanted to show that I had a range as related to technique and I wanted to show skill as related to the ability to write and again this was all a passion I've had ever since I was a kid I wanted to go out here and do comics and again I always wondered what I what it would be like to go out here and have a run on a comic and again you need to sharpen your skills to get ready for that kind of run so I have been sharpening and honing my skills as related to getting ready for a run of comics because when I originally started the Isis series it was supposed to be four books a year but sadly I couldn't keep up that pace at that year because I did 13 books that year and I had to actually pull things back 
and that's why we get three books a year at SJS Direct, and all three of those books take a year to get to print. It takes a year for one SJS Direct book to get to print because I, after I do the, create the concept and write the story, I have to go out here and do the editing. And after I do the editing, which can take anywhere from six months to a year, depending on how long the book is, for shorter books like Isis Esteem and John Haynes, it may take me six months on each book and on a book like the like eternal night or the woman crisis we may be talking about a whole year just on trying to make sure that all the details are accurate all the facts are checked and the research is done it takes a lot of pro of, of time to go out here and put one of these books together and it takes even longer on a project like a comic book because i'm not just working by myself in, in a lot of cases, I'm working with an artist and I have to wait for them to get the art to me. So it's a lot of a lot of work that goes into these books. And usually before any artist is contacted on a cover, I have done at least about six months to a year of, of just checking and double checking as related to writing the drafts of the story. So there's a lot of work that goes into an SJS Direct book. And it all, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into them. And again, I learned all of this and I have to keep doing this because again, you're only as good as your last project. And if your last project isn't that great, then you're not gonna be able to sell that next book to readers. It, again, it's a process that is something that I had to learn because in order to make a living on books or be able to create a sufficient revenue stream, I have to go out here and be able to be able to create a process for creating books and i just can't create one book a year because again one book may not get an audience and i may have a book that winds up doing slow like this year like i had with john haynes godbreaker and john haynes 1987 i mean both of those books have been selling on the slow side so i have to create other books that i believe will go out here and sell better so that's all part of the process as related to writing. You have to keep making new books in order to keep making money because you can't rely on your backlist primarily. You have to have frontlist books that sell the backlist books. So that's why I continue to make Isis Esteem and John Hayes series books. And I look to go out here and make other products. I really want to do some more comics. I mean, I have just finished an Isis the Beauty Myth script that I think would be an absolutely fantastic comic. And sadly, I have to hold off on that because I'm just still trying to get the funding together. So there's a lot of stuff that I would love to do. And if I had the money, I would do even more th products like comics in addition to the fantasy books and the novels. And again, I do this because I have, again, I have a love for black people. I want to diversify the black book market. I have a passion for writing. And I, again, this is how I look to make a revenue stream to make a living because I'm still, if I had a full-time job, I could do this a little easier. Or if I had a crowdfunding project where I could make the money of an Ethan Van Skyver or a young Rippa 5'9 or Richard C. Meyer, if I could make that kind of money, I could get more product out fast. But I laid the groundwork again for a business model. And again, the whole thing is that I have to keep writing and I need books in order to generate sales in order to make a living. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, 1987. Learn lessons about life and teenage love in the 1980s in this coming of age John Haynes story. Get your copy of John Haynes 1987 in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pinup and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.